Greetings and welcome to Pinball Stories. Mike here. Today uh, is a story of a very generous person in a really cool pickup. So let me tell you about this. Um, and I'm still working on this game. This game has really proven to be quite an adversary of mine. Um, but we have a Bally Vector. This is a game that I've been looking for for a long time. Very rare, very obscure game. Um, a lot of people think that it's really not all that great, but it, I, to me, I just love these 80s era ballets. I think they were really trying to do all kinds of crazy stuff. It's got this weird 3D play field with all kinds of ramps and stuff, and it's really, really a beautiful game. Let's see if it, even, if I'm, it fires up. Let's see. Yeah, I know I'd gotten far enough. I'd done quite a bit of work on the game, and I got, I got it to boot up. And, oh, I guess I did fix the display problem. I had a little note here that said, um, high voltage fuse blows if head harness is plugged in with no displays attached. So that's, that's it. I think this is what I'm working on right now. This display is messed up. This center display, so I'm going to have to fiddle with it. But there it is. We got, um, I'm still working on getting this game completely playable. I think there's still some switch matrix problems, but what a beautiful game. Just love all this crazy artwork and all the designs and everything. So I'm still working on this game. So this is a game I've been looking for for a long time. This is one of those situations, I think, where I'm pretty well known in the area. I'm the pinball guy. And, uh, you know, people know that, uh, you know, if the, they hear somebody, hey, you should talk to, you should talk to Mike. Um, if you've got a pinball machine, he can help you out or whatever. And I got a call from this girl. And she was in college, and I think she was graduating from college. And uh, she had a small little apartment in this section of town where all of the students and stuff are. It was, uh, in this case, it was the American Can Company, which was an old cannery that they had turned into uh, apartments and condos. And she had a place up in there. And she called me and said, I got this pinball machine, and you come take a look at it. So I come down to take a look at it. And when I found out it was Vector, I'm like, yeah, I'm absolutely coming. So I, I went down there, and um, she said, look, here's the situation. Um, uh, I've had this game ever since I was a kid, and I've been to several different colleges, and I've dragged this machine with me from college to college. Um, and... Uh, for the last couple of years, it hasn't been working, and it's just been sitting in my dorm room or my apartment, and uh, I'd really like to see it work again. Uh, you know, and I, I asked her, well, what do you know? What's wrong with it? What's all of this stuff? And, and um, you know, I forget she was moving someplace, but she just didn't have, she, she didn't want to take it with her, and she didn't want to just sell it. She wanted to make sure that it went to a good home, and so she said, look, if you want it, you can have it. And I'm like, well... You know, I can't beat that, absolutely. I would have paid for it, even though it was not in working condition, and I, I knew that she had a cat that was, like, living inside of it. The, the cat, it was like the cat's house. There was hair on everything. Um, but, yeah, so it was given to me. This game was given to me, and uh, it's still taken a lot of work to get it, get it to even boot up. But a lot of progress has been made. I'm hoping to get this out there and have this playable very soon. This is a this you, there was a Led Zeppelin retrofit kit that this company was selling supposedly to turn this into a Zeppelin machine, which I think is kind of heresy because this is really a uh, that's a beautiful machine and uh, it should stay the way it is. So um, this is one of those times where I just really felt extremely grateful. Um, you know, so it's, it's, I'm I'm offered games, not that I mean it's not super rare that it happens. Occasionally somebody will say, hey, come get this game. I want it out of my place. And sometimes they're just complete crappy games. Um, and sometimes I pay money for complete crappy games that I absolutely regret. This is a game that I was just totally, totally psyched to get. And to have it, and to have it given to me from somebody that knew that you know, I was going to take care of it. So I, you know, I'm absolutely going to get this thing working and restore it, and it's going to be beautiful. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I, I, I'm look excited. I, I've been so distracted with other stuff. I haven't had a chance to work on it, but it's sitting back here, and 
I have worked on it on and off for a couple of years um, and when I get a chance I fiddle around with it a little bit more and it's pretty darn close to being being working right now. I just have to figure out this one little display situation here and uh, a few other little glitches but um, I you know this is a this is a great example of sometimes a just a really amazing thing falls into your lap and I remember wheeling this thing out of the the girls uh, apartment or dorm and I was like wow this is great I'm just gonna be a lot of fun um, and it turned out to be a lot of work to get it working but uh, I'm very grateful and for those of you out there that do these kinds of things uh, uh, there I hope you get a lot of really good karma um, a lot of people throw these machines out I just had a friend on Facebook contact me the other day somebody had thrown out a Sharky shootout. The whole machine just dumped it in his front yard and he, he'd been looking for a machine and a friend said, hey, I saw something in the neighborhood, this neighborhood, why don't you go over there? And he went over there and they just threw the entire machine out in the front yard. Obviously, it probably wasn't working, but this stuff happens all the time. Um, I don't know if I've done the story uh, about... Uh, there's a couple of, yeah, there's some other stories I can tell. And, I, and the next story, let me tell you, the next story is going to be a doozy. Wait till you hear the story of Flash Gordon. Okay, that's coming up. You don't want to miss that. Um, I promise you the stories are going to be getting better. And they're not always like, hey, somebody gave me a game. Hey, some, I got a good deal. Hey, this one came from upstairs and was hard to move. There's some, some of the stories are a lot more elaborate. But I do want to give credit to the scenarios where somebody somebody is really generous and sweet and says you're the guy everybody says you're the guy that will work on these machines and 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 let, allow other people to play them and enjoy them the way I did so I want to share this with other people and that's exactly right um, we restore these things and we share them with other people I'm not a flipper um, it's pretty rare when I sell some games although lately I may have to to clear some room but these 80 zero valleys I, I just my dream is to have like a whole row of them. See, right next to it is a Supersonic. And that game is completely operational. The reason why the back glass is off is because I stole the Alltech board out of it while I was working on Vector here. But uh, I, one day I'm going to line up all the 80s era Bally's in a row. And it's just going to, you know, the artwork on these things is just so beautiful and colorful. And I just want to stand there and look at it. You know, you see these in people's collections here and there, but you rarely see like a whole lineup of them. And the, the artwork is just so spectacular that that's what I want. It's almost to me like a, like a museum exhibit. If I can get like 10 or 15 of these things all in a row, um, it would be, it'd be really cool. So hopefully I'm going to do that soon. I just have to find some space. But uh, it, till next time... Be sure to visit pinballhelp.com. Subscribe to me on YouTube. And I guess everybody says click like. I guess that's important because the more people that click like, the more Facebook and YouTube, I guess, will show stuff to other people. So, um, it, you know, I really appreciate everybody watching. And stay tuned. And wait till the next, the next story is going to be really cool. Stay tuned for that one.